Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is right here. Uh, so, this is a collaboration from Blind Enthusiasm Brewing Company and Blind Man Brewing. I've had a few things from Blind Man Brewing. Uh, they had been sent to me by the one and only Painkiller uh, Beer Reviews.ca. Uh, Dan has changed his channel name several times and his handle a few times. Uh, this is 5.5% alcohol. This is Enthusiastic Man Munich Lager. So keep cold, drink fresh. www.blindmanbrewing.ca Bay F34 153rd Avenue, Lacombe, Alberta. Contains barley. This is a home and away collab between us and the fine folks at Blind Enthusiasm up in Edmonton. We are both brewing a batch of a single malt, single hop beer with Munich type malt from Hagerth Malt and Willamette Hops from the Hop To It Farm. The only difference will be in the brew house and the brewing process necessities by by offering brew, uh, by the differing brew house designs. Okay, so it's a collab, but it's not a collab. It's it's a beer that's been, and there are other breweries that have done this. Uh, but what they've done is they brewed it at they brewed the exact same recipe at two different breweries, and again the difference being how you had to brew it with what you have. Um, so I don't know if. Blind Enthusiasm is one of those little, like, one-barrel or half-barrel systems or what they are. But, hey. Let's, uh, let's try it, shall we? So, a Munich-type malt. And Wilmet. Beautiful amber hued color, beautiful slightly off white, sort of creamy head. Nice snap crackle pop, sent out of the glass. Not really much. Oh, you get that caramel, you get that breadiness. A little touch of spicy notes at the back end. Slanche, let's try it. I'm. Well, you know, I, I slaunched you a little a little early. There's still a lot of head in there. I mean, I love a lot of head. Don't get it, but I love. Okay, I'll try now. Cheers. Hmm. Bready, biscuity. Lots of caramel flavor, a little bit of roast, and that's really about it. Bready, biscuity, a little bit of roast, and caramel. Um, what a Munich lager to me. I mean, I know you would usually have your big steins for a Munich lager, but that slightly amber hued lager, it should be something you can pound from a can. So let's just test that for a second. Yeah, the taste does not get any worse or any better. It is bready, it's biscuity, and caramel. Little tiny bit of drying spice in the back of the throat. That's a nice, just drinking beer. You know, I talked to my buddy Chris a lot. And we've been going on and on about how the older I get, the more I'm just looking for a beer I can enjoy. And this is flavorful, but not overly flavorful. This is an easy to enjoy brew. And I'm kind of excited about that. <sighs> yeah. That is easily 
an 8.5 out of 10. I really like that. I can't complain about that at all. That's a, that's a beer I could see myself sitting down with my dad and having a case of between the two of us. Like, great, great drinking beer. Enthusiastic man. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.